Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 42. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for week 9, click on the link below the video. Hey, this video 42, I'm actually going to come over to the topic sheet for week 9. Actually, video number 1 that you just watched was a 40-minute review of all of the chart basics we learned in Office 2013 class. So you got to watch that video first. And then these videos, we're going to go into some more advanced topics. All right, so on the sheet T, we want to talk about saving a chart as a template. Now here's a chart I make all the time. I have cities and revenues, and I want to make a black and white pie chart with labels. But the thing is, I have to remake the chart every week, and I don't want to do that. So now I'm going to make the chart once, and then I'm going to save it as a template. And then up in the charting area, I will have access to that template. All right, so I've highlighted. I have some category labels and some series numbers. And I want to make a pie chart. Why do we make pie charts? We're comparing the parts to the whole. So I go up, pie. I'm just going to do a two-dimensional pie. Remember, as we talked about in our basics video, three-dimensional pies distort the proportions or the percentages. So it's usually not a good idea to use the 3D. I'm going to use the flat one. All right, so now I want to come over to this great button and add some data labels. I actually want to go and show more options. This will open up our task pane. And then over here, I want to include the category name. That will be the cities from over here and the percentage, value, category, percentage, and show leader lines. It probably won't show up, but we'll keep that there. All right, now we need to come over here and get rid of our chart junk. I do not need this, because this has our category names, which are going to be up in the chart as labels. So delete. Revenues are fine. Now let's come back and click on these labels. Scroll down, and I'm going to say, Oops, wrong one. we got to come over to our series, come over to Label Options, scroll down, and say Outside End. So that's looking pretty good. Now I want to click on the actual pie, and we're going to use Color. So we come to this Chart Styles, come to the second tab, Colors, and I'm going to scroll down, and there's that black and white that I like with some grays. And that's it. Now, in this chart, we did some simple things, but you could do whatever you want. But once you have it set, now I simply need to right click, and I'm going to right click down a little bit lower, and Save as Template. And just like that, it's going to ask me for a name. Here's the file path, and there's the Charts folder where this template will be saved. I'm definitely going to give it a good name, Black and White Pie. And notice the extension .crtx. I'm going to click Save. All right, so now we have it there. If I get my next week's data, I simply highlight it, come up to Charts, All Charts. Whoops, let me scroll over here. Templates, and there it is. I simply click OK, and there's my new chart with all of the settings. I don't have to recreate it each time, so saving as a template is awesome. All right, we'll see you next video.